Ignition point. Since we covered a Flame Princess episode yesterday, I kind of wanted to continue that trend. Finn and Jake have to get Flame Princess her candles from the Fire Kingdom, and they accidentally stumble upon a conspiracy. Tom Herpick said, I remember this one came out of a writer's game. Our little get together where we all brainstorm and nothing usually comes out of it, but this came out of it. He later implied he only suggested it because he was watching Game of Thrones. It's crazy because I had just finished that the other week too. I'm not even going to speak on the ending. Rebecca Sugar was later talking about hearing characters taking breaths in between dialogue, and then Pendleton Ward stated, I always wanted a sound library of characters' breaths so that I could sort of create a moment of time between jokes. Really, when I was editing the final episodes, I wanted to be able to create pauses in between things to affect the pace of the joke. You need a sort of moment where you go... <sighs> and then something funny to me in my mind and he did later say that he made this sound library and has been using it rebecca sugar responds with i think by default they get taken out i think about should i keep the breaths and footsteps for everything in naturalism and then i was watching some cartoons and was like no one makes footsteps when they're walking around is that unusual because i feel like everyone should have footsteps but then rebecca sugar and pendleton ward both discuss how if you don't implement something like that at the start of a series you create, it becomes a bit more complicated to just start changing your whole process and adding that in later. Which is kind of trippy because on one hand, like they said, from a business aspect it is kind of jarring to change your whole process so late in the game, but then they also brought up as a world rule, it could be a bit jarring for a cartoon to not have all this realism then all of a sudden they have realism. Like in a show where characters don't have five fingers, actually like Adventure Time, they don't have five fingers normally, but there have been random moments in the show where then they have five fingers and my sense of immersion kind of breaks. But there was this one episode, I think it was a Grable episode, where they joked about nobody having five fingers. And maybe that was the point because it's like, oh, people do have five fingers. But then it just, like I said, it just breaks my immersion for like no reason. So it's just interesting. Then lastly, about that one scene where the two dudes were tied up eating sandwiches, Pendleton Ward stated, we were trying to do something really, really gross. So the guy could come in and be like, pfft actors. It wasn't gross enough. We had to work within the boundaries of what we were making. I always wanted it to be way grosser. That's crazy because like what would Adventure Time be like if it was on Adult Swim? And it makes me wonder if the new HBO Max one will be super more like, you know, like the transition for Samurai Jack essentially. But I don't know all the constraints and details behind it. I haven't looked into it, so maybe we already know. But anyhow, let me know how your day's going. Feel free to join the Discord, links in the comment section and the description, links to the social media in the description. Please stay safe and stay smart. And on that note, I'm about peace.